We've lived here 20 years and uh, we've never seen the boardman breach its banks as it has. This is what Tom Gardner's backyard looks like today. Water up to his thighs, rising about an inch an hour. The river is about four feet above normal and to leave the neighborhood, he says he'd need waders. We are uh, fearful that our things have been ruined and our property's been permanently damaged down here by that dam removal. It's also creating safety concerns. We are definitely surrounded on one end of our house by water. The river's running right through our neighbor's yards. The people down further on the river, their houses are surrounded. Barbara Renaud is one of them. The first flood in 2012 damaged their cottage that was their main source of income. Then they had to be evacuated from their home of 40 years because of mold spores from the water. We were forced to move into a 35 year old mobile home that's here on the property. The water under the bridge to get to their home has gotten so high it's considered unsafe to drive on. The deterioration of the bridge has reached a point where we've had to sign waivers for the propane trucks and um, the pumping trucks for the people that have uh, holding tanks for them to be able to come back and take care of us. They've used all of their savings to try and get compensation they haven't seen yet. I've not seen anyone from the city, county or any of the uh, people that were involved in removal of the dam, I have not seen any of those people down here examining anything. Residents have a lawsuit pending against the city for their losses. It's related to the controversial removal of the dam in 2012. We have gone from shock to anger. It's, it's a grieving process. And it's all taken an emotional toll on the people who live here as they deal with major financial problems caused by something outside of their control. We had a really nice life prior to this, and now I spent last week with a cart in Father Fred's pantry picking up food. And I never in my life have ever been put in a situation financially for something I was not responsible for.